Hi guys, welcome to my first ever fashion video. I'm gonna talk about a capsule wardrobe and must-haves. Must, 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 must have in your closet. Okay, I will clean this mess up. <laughs> and then uh, I will show some close-ups. It's all about fashion. And I want to talk about the most important clothing items you have to have in your wardrobe for elevated everyday outfits. And I would say I am the queen of basic looks because I love simplicity. I love not thinking too much about what are you gonna wear, what's gonna look good together. The items that I'm gonna show you are a guarantee for good fits. Effortless, simple, everyday. Let's go. This is a lifesaver. My personal most worn piece is a blazer. Not just any blazer. It's my attire blazer. And I might be biased, but I do believe this is the best blazer we've ever made. And actually I'm wearing size extra large. So if you go for a black everyday blazer, I really recommend you to size up if you wear a blazer or something super oversized you have to balance it out with skinny jeans or leggings one part of your outfit has to be big large oversized and the other one can be more tight more fitted and that's how you create balance so there is really mean people who say that skinny jeans are out I highly disagree because they look super effortless and they're the perfect base to style with an oversized shirt, with an oversized blazer, oversized sweater, whatever it is. Skinny jeans and you're good to go. I am wearing chunky sneakers. If you're a short girl like me, 170, it's not that short, but I wish I was taller, you know. And I love platform boots, platform sneakers, because they always give this little edge of being a little bit taller than I actually am. So this is my everyday look. I think I've been dressing like this for forever. Haters will say I dressed like this in school. <laughs> That's just so easy. And you know, if you want to um, spice it up, Add cool earrings, add a statement belt, add a cool bag. I will show you my must-have bags a little bit later. But uh, this is a very easy, bulletproof outfit. Okay, here we have another blazer, a pinstripe blazer. And I think it's another must have for, you know, those days where you go from work to dinner with your friends, hopefully soon. But I think, you know, a pinstripe blazer is an absolute must have. It's like a more elevated casual style. And it just lo always looks cool. Why you saying shit? All right, what did I just do? I put on leggings. And there's more mean people who don't only say that skinny jeans are out, but also leggings. And let me kindly disagree. Yes, baggy jeans, shorts, pants look really cool. But sometimes, you know, a leggings is actually really cool. Styling. I did the formula of one more oversized piece, like this blazer, and then I wore leggings with it because we will have balance. To ruin this beautiful balance, I added my chunky sneakers again because this is a very flattering silhouette, silhouette, and that's one of my favorite silhouettes. You know, oversized upper body, 
skinny or fitted legs and then chunky shoes. My next must have is another blazer. I'm sorry, but blazers are their must haves. They look good on everybody. It's like cheating your way to the top of the styling alone, just for blazers. That's an Anushka blazer. Um, it's vegan leather, but you can get a good vintage leather blazer on pretty much every second-hand website, such as Vinted, Vinted, <laughs> uh, Vestia Collective. What else is there? eBay. <laughs> eBay, lol. <laughs> and you wanna know um, another style hack? Just wear all black, leather with leather. I'm gonna break my rule here because one of my favorite looks, and I was literally just wearing it a few days ago, is leather jacket with leather pants. Unless you heard it from me, then you ain't heard it from me. Go it from me, all the energy extra. You don't want to This is literally what I wore the other day. Don't forget your Converse. I love Converse sneakers. They are iconic. You know, I didn't want them for so long because I was like, oh, everybody has them. Yeah, but guess what? Everybody has them for a reason. So I think two or three years ago, I finally got them and they're one of my favorite pair of shoes, especially when you do a look that I just did. That's like very, could be too much, but then you put on your converse and you balance it out. Et voila. Okay, if you follow me, you know what's coming next. Do you wanna know why I love blazers so much? You can just layer them. You just reached another level of cool, effortless. And yeah. You know, my personal style is very casual with a touch of mince mint suiting, mint style, mint fits. When you're kind of girly, which people say I kind of am, I like to edge myself up. And that's what I do with these boyish outfits. And whenever I see a girl that wears boyish stuff, I'm like, oh, she's so cool. I don't even know why, but I'm definitely not a fan of a girly girl being all girly girl, even though it's nice sometimes. I'm just a girl trying to be cool. Now listen carefully, you have to have a black oversized coat. And the craziest thing is, I am 30 years old. And I lived 30 years without a black oversized coat. And this one is from Totem and I ordered it like two months ago. So I've been owning this only for two months. Don't do the same mistake. It's such a cool look. It's just effortless. I'm an effortless b Right? Right. <laughs> okay, I will show you my closet staples that you have to have in your closet. For example, this turtleneck. I've had this one for like three or four years. It's by Intimissimi. If you look at one of my pictures from every single winter or fall or spring, I bet you, you will find always a black turtleneck <laughs> under every outfit I wear. Of course, I could just show my attire basics because I live in attire. But I told myself, okay, Xenia, you can put in three attire pieces. Otherwise, it would just look like an attire commercial. But that's why I did attire. I want everyday basics. So this is one black sweater version and the chunky version has to be attire. I mean, come on. And then I have a gray turtleneck. Also such a good classic piece. Same story for white. And you know, the great thing about those is you literally keep them for years. And, and I feel so comfortable when I wear them. It's like coming home and they go with everything, everything. Every piece that I show you, you can combine with each other, wear it together. It's a no brainer. 
and of course beige i mean what are we even talking about i remember once i went <laughs> in the elevator after a moschino show and this girl said to her friend like they were dressed super funky and you know i'm more casual and they were like oh my god the show was so epic but did you see the beige girls there they just talked about girls who love to wear beige and okay i'm sorry i'm one of them okay so this is a helmut lang sweater that i wear all the fucking time i got it in sale on the outnet or something i ordered this two years ago and i wear it every single week and the quality is incroyable i always feel like i speak spanish when i try to speak french <laughs> well anyway you get my point key piece can't live without i think a lot of people who are watching are like girl that's common sense but uh <laughs> i literally started collecting all these basics recently like if you look on for example my getty images you see that my older pictures like my outfits look so random they don't look well put together and i feel like if you have these key pieces in your closet you will always somehow look well put together okay i have to show our entire cardigan because i love it so much oh, 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 oh. if you follow me you already know i love this cardigan i live in it and especially when you wear a tank top this is a very good tank top and it's by totem i wear it all the time and you just add this you add a chunky gold necklace done done voila there is your look and then we have this kind of cardigans that are oversized and really cool this one is by alanui when it comes to boots i think we all know chunky boots are very in right now and i'm grateful for that i love when my feet look bigger than they actually are why do i love it because it's the silhouette that I love. And when it comes to chunky boots, I mean, classic chunky boots, Doc Martens. You see them everywhere, why not? I personally like it. If you can and you want to invest in high quality boots, you know, that last a lifetime, um, I really recommend, oh God, I can't even pronounce the brand. Ande de le Meister. Ande de Meister. Um, so here's the boot called And the Mollmeister. If I see a person wearing And the Mollmeister <laughs> boots, I'm like, oh my god, she's so cool. And I think you can get good deals on Vestia. This is also not a sponsored video for Vestia. I just love thrifting and I think shopping secondhand is such a cool sustainable way oh me <laughs> no i didn't think about this outfit i just put it on when i rushed out of this house why effortless another thing mean people talk about in a really mean way is that ripped jeans are out guys no they're having a big comeback and I talked with a very fashionable girl named Kami Charia, who I personally love for her style. And we talked about this last year and we were both saying, oh my God, hopefully ripped jeans will have a comeback because they're so cool. And I'm here for it. Woo! This is a really great pair from RTA. My friends from RTA made really cool clothes so i love to combine those with ugly sneakers i mean they're not really ugly but you get the point you know vintage looking sneakers okay i'm really sorry this is the last blazer i promise i'm very picky about the stuff that's in my forever closet because even though I have a huge closet. It's still smaller than it should be for my work as an influencer, you know, dressing three different outfits per day, going to fashion shows, fashion weeks, etc. 
So I really try to be very strict about what's in my closet and yet I have four gray blazers. I mean, come on. Come on. Oh, you don't like it. I love it. I love everything you're wearing. Oh. Thank you, I guess. Okay, this blazer is Isabel Marron. I love their blazers. I mean, you can't tell me that I don't look cool. You look so cool. 100 points if you know what's coming next. I am a layering bitch. I love to layer. I mean, what can I say? It's so easy and it always looks cool. It's Margiela, anything Margiela is iconic, will last for years. I bought this um, like three years ago in sale. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Okay, I will tell you the cool brands to thrift. It's Margiela, it's Rick Owens, it's uh, Helmut Lang, of course. It's... I'm the Moya Mesta. Exactly. I also don't know, by the way, if I pronounce it correctly. Oh my god, Jürgen, that's such a fashion faux pas if we both don't know how to pronounce it. On the Möllemeister. <laughs> on the Möllemeister. I love on the Möllemeister. What? Oh, Dries. Oh my god. Dries is so good. <laughs> oh, and of course, vintage Marc Jacobs. Mm, iconic. This is my cool look because I'm a cool and effortless girl. <laughs> Oh, of course, Vintage Prada. Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. Vintage Prada, iconic. You have to have. A blue shirt. Duh! Also a white shirt. You know, my iconic attire shirt. I love it so much. I wear it so much. But unfortunately, I wear it so much that I got food on it. What else? And I was in a dry cleaning and I was gonna film this video today but then I realized my blouse isn't dry cleaning and I freaked out and well, I don't have it now. So I bought this Prada shirt um, like two, three years ago and I wear it every single season, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, you name it, I got it. All right. <laughs> I look like a boy. But I love it. And that's why I love investing in those pieces. Yes, they're really expensive. But then you wear them for years and years and years and nothing happens to them because it's such an incredible quality. Like, it's still the same stiffness that it had when I first bought it. Okay, this is the last blazer, I promise. Um, of course I layer it with a blazer. It's a white blazer. You gotta have a white blazer. This one is from Acne Studios and I bought it at their sample sale which is like a little bit outside Stockholm and it was really affordable. Another piece I love in my closet are black flared jeans. Why do I love them? Because they make my legs look really long. Why do they do that? <laughs> because that's the shape and it's so flattering and that's another reason why I love chunky sneakers because you wear them under they're a bit hidden so people don't even realize you just pretend to be longer than you actually are that's mother denim and did you know that I have all my pants altered I think it's worth even if it's only a few centimeters but make them fit perfectly on your leg with the chunky sneaker I think it makes such a difference when you have pants that fit you really well well my neighbors are like <laughs> you know my, my neighbors they work on their computers all day they see me filming changing <laughs> being in underwear all day they're like what is this weird girl doing okay I love this look so much. When it comes to leather jackets, it's worth investing in high quality, timeless pieces. I got this Celine jacket in a sample sale. So it was still kind of pricey, but you know, investment for years. And 
One of the coolest leather jackets that I have is actually thrifted. It's um, from a vintage store in New York and it's like an old... Wait, I'll show you. I bought this one for like 40 bucks or something. And it's so good. Like whenever I wear it, people are like, oh my God, why did you get this? And I'm like, thrifted. So, you know, leather jackets is another thing that's perfectly easy to thrift and it always looks good. Just make sure it fits well and it does not sit tight on your shoulders. All right, what else do we have? All right, and another key piece that is so easy to style, even, you know, when it gets springy and I will wear a crop top and shorts, I would still really love to wear a long coat. I think what inspires me most are all these vintage pictures from the 90s. I mean, I'm, I'm a sucker for Lady Diane style and anything that she wore. And it's this mix of casual stuff with cool elements. And that's why I think this is a must have. I love chunky turtlenecks, but let me show you the master trick. And this works for every style, literally every single style. If you're unsure if it's too hot or too cold, always bring a sweater. And this is why I love that the arms are exaggerated because you can just wrap it around you. And you're just that cool girl. And you can also do it with a blazer, for example. I do this all the time. Every look that I just showed goes perfectly well with a vintage Chanel. I love a vintage Chanel. I think if you invest in a designer bag, it's very safe to invest in a vintage Chanel. But I know not everybody is able to afford Chanel. Also vintage Chanel is quite pricey. So I want to show you a perfect everyday bag that's more affordable it's still kind of luxury um it's like affordable luxury and this is from ln and this is not sponsored i just really really love their bags i think they look so cute and if that's also too expensive again do some thrifting there's such cool vintage margiela bags that are under 100 euros or you know my assistant who's like my style icon <laughs> He wears a shopping bag, but like as his everyday bag and it's made of leather, it's vintage, it's super cool. And I think, you know, that's also a really good way of being or shopping, uh, getting affordable, cool items to wear with your look. If you want to pop all these basic looks up, just wear funky lipstick or, you know, a more like a brighter eyeshadow or statement rings. You know, you can really use accessories to make your look more interesting, but this is for the base. I mean, that's non-negotiable. <laughs> I mean, first of all, wear whatever the fuck you want. This is just my opinion. This is just my style. This is not a law written in a book and you will get punished if you don't follow the law. This is just my experience, what makes my life easy, what I like to wear. But I think style rule number one, never ever wear something that you don't feel comfortable in. Because you know, your main impression on other people is your self-esteem, your charisma, your vibe. I also feel like you can really see if somebody has personal style, like, okay this is my clothes what i really like because i like it and not because somebody else wore it and so whatever recommendations i give you take them and make them yours you know add your little twist change it up as you like it i mean fashion is really such a generous form of self-expression and yeah Anything else? Anything else you would like to know? Do you want to say hello? I'm sure people miss you. No. Hello guys. I'm just here. Judging. And doing my thing. What's your thing? 
I wrote down all the outfits. How many do we have? 20. Thank you for watching. It's funny to see you every week now. I hope you like my first fashion video. Leave me a comment what else you want to see. As always, I chat with you in the comment section first hour after I publish a video. And I love you so much. You're so kind and amazing and I just love you. I just needed to say this and see you next week. Yee! See, and now I'm going to pick up Ruth from the doctor and I put on, I put together another random outfit combination of the stuff that I showed. So it's my leggings with the chunky boots and my oversized vintage jacket. Voila. And of course the turtleneck. It's always the turtleneck.